Hello everyone, this is Perspective Presents in Retrospective. Yeah. So this is the first episode. Oh, this is in retrospective. So the goal or um well, yung para pinaka concept of this show is for us to be able to feature retro tech or feature natin yung mga old technologies, old phones. Uh, some of the devices which are not available to the market anymore and uh, most of which are being considered na as something which is vintage so this this um, program aims to feature uh, some of these devices or some of these uh, well, some of these technological devices for us to be able to appreciate what we have right now kasi ngayon napaka powerful na in terms of mobile phones we have the iPhone, the Oppo, the Huawei so, as you can see, napaka-powerful na ng mga generation of phones. But, um, well, it's good uh, to know then yung mga roots natin na tinatawa. We're presenting to you the Nokia E7. Yeah. So, the Nokia E7 was first launched in 2010. So, today is 2020. So, this was launched 10 years ago. Yeah. As you can see, in terms of form factor... Honestly, I can say, maganda pa siya. <laughs> Magandang maganda pa siya. And um, umaga, kasi that's one of the uh, selling points ni Nokia. Kasi yung mga mobile phones ni Nokia, most especially in the time past, napakaganda ng mga designs ng mga cellphone in terms of features. Hindi kagaya ngayon. Ang ngayon, almost all of the smartphones, magkakamuka ang itsura. And uh, as you can see, Pagka naman naglo-launch ng mga bagong iPhones, ang pagbabago lang sometimes nawala yung home button. Uh, sometimes pagka naman ano, mas lumiit yung bezel ng kapiraso, kapiraso. So, just a very little decrease on the bezels. Yeah. But in terms of the actual or the overall appearance, wala masyado pinikaiba. Uh, para doon sa iPhone 11, iPhone 11 hindi masyado makanto. Pagdating sa iPhone 12, mas ano siya, kumbaga mas curvy yung iPhone 12. So, in terms of form factor, across all brands, halos magkakamuka. It all looks just the same. But, during our time, as we can say, as we speak, magkakaiba ang itsura ng mga mobile phones. Yan. And, well, to be honest, ito naman kasi si E7. This was launched in 2010 already. And the first iPhone was launched in around 2007. So, ten, 3 years ahead si, si iPhone 1. Rather, si iPhone 1. iPhone 1 was first launched in 2007. So, ito naman si E7 was launched in 2010. And during these times, medyo nakikipagsabayad pa si Nokia. Kasi when the iPhone was first launched, talaga it was uh, the broad storm doon sa tech industry. Because ang isa sa mga items or isa sa mga features na inintroduce ni iPhone is yung apps. Wherein you can download applications on your mobile phone. Na eh, kailangan mo ng ganitong feature. All you have to do is to download, if, to find an app then download it on your phone and voila, you have that kind of feature already. Unlike in the past when uh, we existed kasi in the Nokia era or the Nokia generation, sa Nokia kasi kung ano yung phone, kung yung features ng phone mo, yun na yun. But just the same, ito yung isa sa mga newest phones ni Nokia before it was really, you know, uh, taken by storm by uh, the, the smartphone generation which is the Apple iPhone. So, it was launched in 2010 and as you can see, maporma siya kasi touchscreen siya. Meron din siyang home button. Aside from it being a touchscreen phone, it also has a QWERTY keypad. Yan. Pwede kang mag-type ng, ng messages mo. Yan. So, well, to be honest, still responsive. So, similar kasi siya doon sa mga Nokia communicator phone. Although this one kasi, um, meron na siya tinatawag na o Nokia OVI Store. Well, it's going to be similar na with, uh, with the Apple App Store during this time. Kasi nakikipagsabayan pa si Nokia during this time. So, they have provided also a store 
or an app store as well for those customers or for their customers to download mobile apps as well for their phones. So for this variant, um, it has a 16 gigabyte memory and it is unexpandable. Ngayon, 64 gig lang nagre-reklamo na tayo. We already complain if your phone is just 64 gig, it has a 64 gig of memory or 64 gig of storage but this one it only has 16 gig but during our time during the time that this existed masaya na kami sa 16 gig the camera has 8 megapixel camera rear camera and for our front camera it's just VGA so powerful yung rear camera niya which is 8 megapixel pero pagdating dun sa likod for video calls or whatnot only has it, it, only, it only has a VGA camera it's the front camera then at the same time, uh, one of the things then that we have to consider then uh, for this one, since it was then powerful in 2010, but right now, hindi na siya ganun ka powerful. For video taking, it only has siguro around 720 ang resolution niya and the maximum of uh, 25 frames per second. So during the time, not bad. Kaya lang, just the same, this is not a multimedia phone. This is not a, a phone being used by content creators. In fact, during those times, ang content creators hindi gumagamit ng cellphone. Talagang when you say you're a content creator, you're a video creator, you have to have a DSLR. You have to have a bunch of tripods, a bunch of lights, etc. etc. Hindi kagaya ngayon na ang Ang pagiging video creator is one-stop shop, just like the recently launched the iPhone 12. But for this, this is not a this is not a, a, a multimedia phone. It's a business phone. Yun ang image niya. That's why, hence the the quirky keypad that it has. But uh, just to see, to be honest, in terms of form factor, if you're going to put this out then you're going to use this in public, hindi ka pa mahihiya. Because, maporma pa siya, actually, even into our time. Maganda pa siya. Kaya lang, since we're already internet-reliant, uh, and at the same time, like, most of us are communicating via Messenger, via Viber, uh, ano pa ba, chat sauce, yung mga different messaging apps so hindi na siya magiging applicable it's not that fast anymore hindi na siya magiging usable for those kinds of technologies if we're going to download Instagram for from this device hindi na rin siya magiging masyadong usable but in terms of calls and texts pwede pa eh. pwede pa so it's going to be somehow hindi pa siya talaga masasabi na retro or it's not going to be somehow although this is already obsolete Wala na nagbebentagaan ng ito na brand new, especially brand new. So it can be considered as somehow old tech already. Kasi as what you have known, as what we have known, ang evolution or ang improvisation in terms of technology was especially in our time, mapilis. During the 1980s, ang prediction nila is uh, every after two and a half years, there will come a chip much faster. There will be a microchip much faster than the previously released one. That was in 1980s. Yun ang prediction nila. Microchips will improve every after two and a half years. But today, well, practically today, ang improvisation in terms of microchips is annually na. Hindi na two and a half years. And we can observe that in the chipsets that are being installed on our iPhones and our, and our smartphones. Every year may bago model, every year may bago processor, every year mayroong faster chipsets, etc. etc. So, dun natin nakikita na, well, technology is the fast running, fast paced, and things like this can be considered old tech already. Although it was just released 10 years ago. Di ko nga namalayan, 10 years na pala yun. So, <laughs> kasi it was just like yesterday when my friends were using this device. And by the way, I uh, would like to acknowledge uh, Clifford. Kasi si Clifford, my friend Clifford, is the one who lent me this uh, mobile phone uh, in order for us to be able to feature uh, Retrotech or 
uh, in retrospective episode. So I would like to thank uh, Cliff and uh, follow him on his Instagram account, Views from the Cliff. Yeah, so he's featuring some of the items there as well. He's also uh, a car aficionado and also inclined in sa tech. So he's the one who lent me a bunch of his old phones and one of which is the Nokia E7. So I hope we have shared with you the Nokia A7 and at the same time, I want us to drive down the memory lane. And uh, for our succeeding episodes of In Retrospective, we're going to feature much older phones than this one. Because mind you, this is just 10 years ago. So hopefully we will be featuring phones from the 1980s, from the 1990s, from the early 2000s. Not just phones, maybe digital cameras, uh, um, desktop computers, the first Samsung Galaxy Tab, yeah, yung unang unang tablet ni Samsung, the old phones, the flip phones, yeah, yeah, etc. So for now, this is one of the items that we want to highlight for our pilot episode, the Nokia E7, and uh, I hope um, with the features that we have presented that we have laid down. We have an idea already how lucky we are right now. Makikita natin na, well, hindi tayo basta-basta na magkocomplain na bakit napakabagal, bakit ganito, bakit naghahang, etc. Because during our time, 16 gigabyte of memory is more than enough for us. Kasi, yun, kami dati, talk and text talaga ang main feature or ang main use case na matatawag natin in terms of uh, mobile phones. But now, ang use case ng mobile phones, nag-multiply siya ng times 10. So, for that one, you should be very appreciative with what we have right now and make use of it as much as possible to the extent of its capabilities, to the full extent of this of its capabilities or of those capabilities. For us to be able to get our money's worth. So, yeah. Well, that's it. And uh, I hope we see you again with uh, another episode of In Retrospective. We're in, let's go retro. Let's uh, view things in a different angle. And then uh, let's uh, view things in a different perspective, most especially in terms of the old tech. Kasi maaaring napakinabangan pa natin yung mga old tech natin. Pwede in appreciation and in commemoration with these old technologies, well, these are the items actually na nakapag-contribute sa atin talaga on where we are right now. Well, we cannot disregard Nokia, di ba? We cannot just ditch away Nokia in the first place dahil we won't be able to get here, we won't be able to achieve what the technology, uh, technology industry has achieved right now without this device or without Nokia as the brand. So, basically, Nokia spearheaded all of these innovations in terms of the mobile phone industry. Kaya lang, syempre, it had its time. And it's time Apple, Samsung, and the other brands to take over. So, well, that's it. And I uh, hope uh, we, can, we see you soon in the next uh, retrospective. And as a wise man once said, it's good to see things in a different perspective. And one of the things that we can view is for us to be able to view in retrospect. Thank you so much everyone and have a great day.